Welcome to Mean Dean TV Cubed. Today we're looking at building the moldable scuba tank rack. We'll look step by step how to make a two scuba tank rack and also how to make a five scuba tank rack or you can customize this design to hold as many tanks as you need. First up, let's look at the two scuba tank rack. Grab yourself a standard pool noodle, about 70 mils in diameter. You can get these from most department stores. The pool noodle is approximately 1500 millimeters long. Mark out the cut points 500 millimeters long for the three sections along the pool noodle. We'll be using a simple hot wire where the current from a battery charger is passed through a guitar string. Cut the sections using an electric carving knife, a razor blade or a hot wire as shown here. Mark out the position of the holes 100 millimeters in from each end on all sections. To make sure the holes are in the same line, you can place the sections against a wall and measure out the same distance from the wall. I'm using 8 millimeter rope, but you can use whatever size rope you have available. Use a drill slightly bigger than the diameter of your rope. I'm using an 8.5 drill. Drill a hole through both ends of all sections. Drill the holes through the pool needle as straight as possible so that when they break through on the other side, they'll be in the same line. Measure out and cut a length of rope two meters long. Any excess will be cut off later. Tape the rope end tight to make it easy to push through the holes. Fold the rope in half and mark the center of the rope with tape. Push the rope through the hole in one end of the first section of the pool noodle. Pull the rope through until the center marker appears. Push the rope through the remaining hole in the pool noodle you've just threaded. Centering the tape in the middle of the pool noodle. Continue pushing the rope through a second section of pool noodle. Loop the rope back around the middle pool noodle and use tape to stick the end of the rope to the section of the rope that already goes through the hole. Pull the end of the rope through the hole and untie the tape. Pull the remainder of the rope through the hole. Position the pool noodles so that they are approximately 120 millimeters apart. Thread the other side of the rope through the remaining hole. Loop the rope back around the middle pool noodle and tape it to the rope that already goes through the hole. Pull the end of the rope through the hole and untie the tape. Pull the remainder of the rope through the hole. Position the pool noodles so that they are approximately 120 millimeters apart. Recheck both sides to ensure that they are even. Continue pushing the rope through a third section of the pool noodle. Thread the other side of the rope through the remaining hole. Position the pool noodles so that they are approximately 120 millimeters apart. Bend the ropes at right angles where they exit the pool noodle. This will show you where the two ropes meet and overlap. If the ends of the rope are melted together, you'll need to cut the strands loose on both ends. Untwist a section of rope back to the point where the ropes met previously. Push the ropes together so the strands on the right hand side alternate between the strands on the left. Hold on to one side of the strands and the rope together and tape off the other side of the rope and strands. 
push the pool noodle back to give you more room to splice the rope. Take one of the free strands and place it over the adjacent restricted strand and under the next restricted strand. Repeat this process for all free strands. Here's a YouTube link for more details on splicing. Check your process, there should be a free strand coming out between every restricted strand. Continue the splicing process until you've run out of free strands. Remove the tape holding the other side and repeat the splicing process. Roll the splice between your hands a few times to fully set it into position. Cut off the excess with a hot knife or heated blade for best results. You can just cut the strands off and melt the ends using a match if you do not have a hot knife. Pull the first and last sections of the pool noodle out to the extremities of the rope. Next we look at making a 5 scuba tank rack. Measure out and cut a length of rope 4 metres long. Loop the rope around and through each pool noodle sections, except for the first and last sections. Set all the pool noodle sections 130mm apart, except for the first and last sections, which are 120mm apart. You can alter this design to hold as many scuba tanks as you like. There is a printed version of this tutorial available on my WordPress site. Visit mdtv3.wordpress.com